Hi, and thanks for visiting ASIntool.com. I'm going to give you a quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how to import your data file, run the search, and then export. First, you want to select the data type. It can be any from the following list, ASIN, SKU, NPN, part number, UPC, ISBN, or EAN. My file consists of EAN numbers, so I'm going to select that. So I'm going to pull up my Excel file. Notice that when I open it up, Excel changes these numbers to the scientific notation with the plus 12 at the end. We're going to change the format of that by right-clicking on the A column, Format Cells, Custom, then Zero. That's going to change it to a number format. We also want to make sure that there's no other invalid characters in here, like a pound symbol or money symbol or anything like that. And we don't want any extra rows in this column as well, nor do we want any extra columns in the row. We just want to import one column. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file, save as. I'm going to name it sample.csv. You can name it anything you'd like. And then I'm going to save it as a Windows comma separated only because I'm on a Mac. If you're on a Windows, just save it as a normal CSV file then click Save. I'm going to go back to step one here. We already have EAN selected as a file type and then we're going to select the CSV, upload file, there's a maximum number of rows we can import and it's going to bring us directly to step two after it's imported. I'm going to run the search and while I run the search it's going to show me the progress Once you get a success message, click on the hyperlink down here and it'll bring you to step three, the final step for exporting the data file. I'm going to go ahead and check all the product attributes that I want to export. I'll select all of them just to show you. The last one here, include invalid items, it's just going to show you the rows that Amazon didn't provide a result for. Click export to Excel. I'm going to save the file. It's already named data file, but again, you can name it whatever you'd like. Once that's saved, you can go ahead and open it. And there you go.